Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. So in this video, I'm just going to show you how to export and import entire projects in DaVinci Resolve. So this will allow you to move an entire project with all the files, everything else included, from one computer to another without any real drama. It does take a little bit of time and there are a few things you need to know. So we're just going to jump straight into it. So the first thing you'll need to do is open DaVinci Resolve. Once you have it open, you'll go straight to the project window screen. So here to export a file, just right click on it. And here you'll see the option to export project archive. So click that. This will open the file explorer window. Here you can name your DRA file. So it's a DaVinci Resolve project file. So call it whatever you want, save it wherever you want. Probably an external hard drive if you're moving it to a different PC. Then click save. Once you've done that, you'll see a new little window that appears with three different options. So again, you can choose your location here if you want to change it. Then you have media files, proxy media and render cache. Generally, I don't include the render cache or the proxy media just because the file is going to get massive and the computers that I'm using fairly powerful. So they won't need any help with the render cache. However, if you have a lot of space and you don't have quite a powerful computer, it is probably better to move the render cache. But like I said, it's going to take a lot of file size. So that's optional and up to you. So once you've done that, just click OK and it will copy the file to the location you saved it. So this is going to be quite a big file. So if you're moving a big project, you might need 200 gig of space on the external drive to keep it. So just be aware of that. Once the project's done, this window will close and then you can see the DRA file on your external drive. So once you've done that, you're going to want to know how to import it. So in order to import a project into DaVinci Resolve, again, you're just going to open DaVinci Resolve and go to this window here, the project window, then just right click in the window and select restore project archive. And then here, simply click the DRA file, click open, and it will import the project without any issues. Now, the important thing here that I mentioned at the start where you might have some issues is with any of the third party tools you're using. So if you're creating a project and you have custom fonts, custom graphics, any sort of custom transitions and stuff, you need to make sure you have those installed on the computer you're moving to. Because if you don't, you might have some issues with black screening when those transitions, titles, fonts appear. However, if you aren't too worried about reusing the exact same ones, you can easily flip them out with some of the defaults that are inside DaVinci Resolve. However, if you've forgotten to do this and you're still having some problems, you can just close DaVinci Resolve, go and track down those same extensions, fonts, whatever you're using, install them, and then you can open the project and it will update with all the ones you just replaced. Anyway, that's it for this guide. I hope you found it useful. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe and maybe check out these two DaVinci Resolve videos as well. Cheers, everyone. See you next time.